Well, here we go. 831. You've got the chess peacekeepers being crushed. Look at them smash. Look at that dude in the left-hand corner there. He has a little mustache. I guess that's his mouth. It, 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 yeah, that's his mouth below his mustache, obviously. It looked weird. Um, in a frown. Uh, you know, you would be frowning if you just got clocked. <laughs> yeah, he got smashed. And the thing is, <clears throat> we've actually seen these guys throw down a little bit, right? I forget who it was against. They threw down against them. I mean, they're not punks. They're just not on Luffy's level. <laughs> I got <it>. smoked. <laughs> they're going nighty night for the rest of the adventure, right? Something I keep meaning to bring up. Look at the Ferris wheel back there. Just there's a random Ferris wheel. Who is taking Ferris wheel rides? Is it just the family members? You know, her many, many uh, children. By the way, you know, I was told in the comments like she's had as many as ten kids at once. That's the only way would, the math would work, right? Like the, that's the only way you could have that many kids. Yeah, she can she can shit out those kids, can't she? But anyway, so is it the kids? Is it um, valued members of society, or just anybody? Like, I don't think tourism is a big deal here. Like you, you know, they have a security system around the entire island, They're not just letting a bunch of tourists come in, right? It's not Los Angeles. So I don't know. I don't know who is the Ferris wheel for. Maybe it's just for her, even though it's it's clearly not going to be big enough for her. We could talk forever about that, but we're not going to. We're going to go ahead and get into this episode. We are going on one. Three, two, one. <laughs> I suspected this would be too high. There we go. That first recording of the day, I always have to try to cue up the, the subtitles, so... Yeah. Luffy at this meeting cracks me up. He's sitting there, got his legs crossed, you know, just not paying attention to what anybody's saying. Like, it, you could do a meeting with him. Any meeting with him could be an email. Two, two sentences, that's it. That's right. Let's throw down. At least you're going to have a good time. <clears throat> At least you're going to have a good time before you die. <laughs> right. <laughs> I heard Sanji and Pudding very clearly, but also I said, I thought he said, come in, Luffy, is what I thought the first words were. Well, maybe it's for the kids. There must be a ton of kids around, and I think she may like the kids. I don't know. All the chess peacekeepers have uh, mustaches, I'm certain it does. Yeah, we got to do the rehearsal, right? Because you need to know what you got to do. Yep, right in the face. Ta ta for now. Ha! <laughs> What's your problem? I just don't like evil bitches. I'm sorry, baby. Yeah. <laughs> no, she's not cute. There's nothing cute about evil. We've been talking to, about this to, uh, I think his name is Eli Moses, the one doing the lost reactions right now. He thinks Julia is cute. She's evil. There is no cute in evil. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Quit opening my door. <laughs> Get your ass back in there. <laughs> Stay inside me. Pause. Speaking of Eli, that's where I learned that from. Eli. Stay in me. I don't want you out of me yet. <laughs> oh, Jesus effing Christ. Your body is a wonderland. <laughs> Phrasing. Don't play with my body. Yeah, <laughs> kick his ass. Knock him out and drag him back inside. Yeah, no shit. Come on down. You don't have to be shy. How are you talking with your tongue out of your mouth? 
<laughs> it is weird sometimes you see like a sports celebrities mixing with uh, film celebrities. It doesn't seem real, you know? He is a sweet general, isn't he? The smoothie's creepy. Oven. Gee, I wonder what oven does. For now, the door is hearing this, you know. Every word. You said this in front of the door. The door heard that. They even showed the door react. Gee, do you think a woman like Big Mom will have an extraordinary wedding cake? That's the one thing you can very well goddamn guarantee you, is the wedding cake's going to be banging. It's literally what she does. So there was clearly song lyrics in the um, the manga, right? Like you know, for this, everybody considered this a musical. They didn't just make up songs for the anime, but they, they still in the anime they still had to put music to it, right? And arrange it. Like you can have lyrics, and lyrics can be done any way you can imagine. You know, this is gonna weaken her, man. This is gonna be so good. So, like, any of the songs they've done, like, they had to arrange music, and that was a tough job. I wonder what the author thought of what they did, right? Or, or I wonder also, because in, in Mad Magazine, which I know we should never compare Mad Magazine to this ma manga, right? Uh, none of your business. Unless you need to remind the audience of this, because we already know. Kick his ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get, bitch. Out. He is out, man. Like a light. In Mad Magazine, they say, uh, sung to the tune of, because they'll have parody lyrics, right? But it's a magazine. Sung to the tune of uh, Ghostbusters or whatever, right? And so you can imagine the Ghostbusters music on top of these lyrics, and it works. I wonder if he did that in the manga. Probably not. Hell yeah. Not the horned transponder signals. Or snails, I mean. I love it when a plan comes together. What was uh, George Prepard? I don't remember the character name. No signals in or out. We've seen it all now. This is about the time cell phone blocking became a thing, right? Man, it is on like Donkey Kong. I'm so excited. We're doing whatever the hell we want. What are you doing? He said sake instead of booze. Hey, man. Yeah, we can lock you in the booze room. So? Er? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe they're just extra help we hired for the day, moron. Yep, knock his ass out. <laughs> now see in some stories this is how they would reveal that something's going going to go wrong right These, imagine this is a movie very beginning of the movie security takes out somebody who raises up a security issue then you know security is on the wrong side that's how you would reveal it sometimes that's really cool obviously here we're telling a different kind of story but you know that happened in uh <laughs> Howie Long did it in Broken Arrow. Revealed he was on the wrong side, right? Save the tamale box for first. I want you to open that first. Right in your face. 
Shut up, bird. Yeah, the tamale box I was just talking about. Good shit. So exciting. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. Yes! Mmm! Right in your face. That's going to cause gas. I bet that'll happen right after they destroy the pitcher. If she had opened it, you would know. Pretty bold. What if it's some people really like and they want it from you? Yeah. First, I'm going to get crunk. Wipe your mouth some more. That was a terrible job of wiping your mouth. <laughs> Do the witches laugh. Hey, what's the door think about this now? Yep. We even found some more sake. Hell yeah. <laughs> Use my um hit my undercover name, I guess is what he's saying, right? <laughs> What's this all about? They're gonna take care of the door. I don't believe the door's gonna snitch us out. They've been do they've been way too much doing with the door, right? The door is sweating, man. Yeah, I will kill your ass. <laughs> huh. I wonder if the, the door is going to snitch. Kill that door. Yeah, <laughs> as I suspected. I thought, I thought they could just, uh, <laughs> no shit. You're saying we shouldn't let people snitch. Um, I thought they would have to destroy the entire door, right? They were paying way too much attention to the door for that door to be a problem. I'm just saying. Go inside yourself and see what they're doing in you. Yeah, chilling. That's exactly what they should be doing. Save your strength. Even carrot, huh? <laughs> hey, they're conserving their strength, man. It only takes some seconds to get ready. That's what I'm saying. Jimmy's on it. I trust Jimmy. Dude, this is the one thing I don't have a problem with. There are soldiers, even elite soldiers, who will sleep until the last second before they got to do something. You're trying to conserve your strength, man. This is a, a great idea. Better than pacing around, burning off energy, man. You're you're generating energy, essentially. The hell, I mean, why would he have a problem with that? As long as you have somebody that can wake him up, you know? Why did you bring Caesar out if it wasn't time for him to come out? I guess to have that conversation. Goddamn right. I don't want to turn back. Vin smokes Sanji. I like that. It kind of rolls off the tongue, don't it? I don't think I've ever appreciated his voiceover actor like I should. This is really good emoting. Because I, I don't like him, I kind of just pay attention to the other characters, right? But his voiceover actor is really good. 
and obviously that's not he has nothing to do with the way the writing is being done you know so it's it's not his problem that the character sucks <laughs> Dumbass. Ugh. No shit. So are you. Well, I, that's a great poster. I put that on my wall, man. I wonder what's going to befall her. I guess being arrested by the Navy or something. I, you know, I don't see a redemption arc in her future. She's too evil. Quit asking me if something's wrong. If you ask me if something's wrong, one more time. <laughs> really? <laughs> Play your part well. <sighs> Grown ass man. Jesus effing Christ. Through the blood coming out of his nose. Let's not forget that part. Now he has to change his suit. He's dead as hell. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Dirty Water Imp. I don't think I can say Dirty Water Imp outside of this company because people might think I'm racist. I mean, I don't even know what the hell that means. There's there's no good connotation for Dirty Water Imp. Like, I'm actually, I, I don't think I should say it anymore. That was heinous. Damn, dude. Just casual misogyny. Just casual as hell. This place is buck wild, man. Yeah, I don't like dying. That's why I'm unhappy. Sure, let's party. You got any cocaine? What is she doing back there with some... It looks like a chef. She's playing with her chef doll, right? <laughs> why wouldn't it be? Look, don't dip your fingers in my rice bowl. You do you, I do me. Man. She's drinking tea out of somebody's nose. You see that? <laughs> then why do you seem so maniacal? Look at your eyes. You crazy as hell. <laughs> Cheers, indeed. Then yeah. why'd you turn evil all of a sudden? Ah, we're ready to go, huh? We're within ten minutes, apparently. He only needs two minutes. His pants seem the same as they were in. Um, um, the hell was the name of the Punk Island? The same as they were in Punk Island. Yeah. Where did you put that gun? Did that just go up your ass? I think that went up your ass. There's no other way she, where she could put that gun. Man, look at that. You can't even see it. Damn, he cleans up fast, don't he? You shouldn't really be in the same room together for the wedding. I just realized that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. In case we didn't know if you're evil or not. Good job, Clock. You handled your one job. Hey, whatever else you say about Big Mom, and I have a lot to say about her, she puts on a show. This would be a party. I would go to this party. We went from a fight. 
you know, the, the gladiator situation to a feast. Similar vibe, though. Everything there to eat, that dude wanted to eat those uh, purple berries. <laughs> Merry marriage, I guess, right? Can you eat the firecrackers? That's what I want to know. Firecrackers kind of loud. Yeah. The food is very excited for you to eat it. Very creepy. Not the evil army. How dare you characterize us like that? Good shit. Hey, it's bright again. How'd she turn it from day to night to day? <laughs> I guess we're all evil, so it's okay to say that. Did she just goose him? You see how he jumped? I guess she goosed his arm. <laughs> he is playing his part well. Would you stop doing that with your nose? It's effing disgusting. Yeah, great. The bloody wedding, huh? Some might even call it a wedding of a certain color. Who knows? Well, we're on our way. Jesus. <laughs> well, I like predicting things, so um, I, you could say I'm addicted to it because I really do enjoy it. I think the tamale box will blow up episode 144. Okay, so that's going to that's gonna be... The question is, when does the mirror get smashed? Does it, the tamale box happen before or after the mirror, right? So I think there's going to be a lot of foreshadowing. There'll be a couple of little setbacks. They'll do, they'll have like the ceremony, which we're going to pay a lot of attention to. And then we're going to have the machinations behind. Although I could be wrong about that because really nothing jumps off until they come out and they start fighting. The fighting, I think, is going to take a really long time. So actually, I think I'm way overestimating that. I think, forget about the tamale box. Let me predict when I think Luffy will smash the mirror. Because I think everything jumps off with that, right? We're at 131. I think 134 is when that's going to happen because nothing else can happen. That like That's the hinge point. Everything happens after that, and that's going to take a really long time to transpire, I believe. I believe the fight could be 50 episodes, right? Just just after the mirror gets smashed until we end everything and people have been defeated. It could take 50 episodes because just so much can happen. There's, we've seen fights, one fight take over one episode, two or three episodes just on one fight. And there's so many people to fight. So we saw that with um, Doffy, right? So, I think next episode is going to be, you know, more build-up. And then the, there's a ceremony. And, and I think they do the entire ceremony so they're officially married before she kills him. Because that's the whole point, right? They need to be officially married. Seal it with the kiss. You know, in, in a real marriage, you have to sign documents before you're actually married. You can't just have the ceremony run off, right? Like, you have to have to sign the documents or you're not married. The ceremony is for the people. The documents are for the state, the court. So both things out there. Here, who the, who the hell knows? Like it's just it could be some kind of sacred magic contract. Once they say I do, it's it, right? Nobody cares about the documents. I don't know, but yeah. So you could easily burn two episodes on all that foreplay, and then I think the end of thirty four is when he smashes the mirror, and then everything jumps off from there. So that's my prediction. We can still have the tamale box later, which I think we will. The more I think about it, the more I think the tamale box happens at a later point. But I could be wrong, because like she's going to officially do that, right? Hmm. Anyway, we could, we could spin it around forever. Well, I'm having deja vu all over again. They really, really love this shot here, don't they? 
it's a good shot. I'm sure that was probably a pan, pan on the manga. One of these days, you know, with all the spare time I have, I'm going to be checking out a, an issue of the manga, right? Just to see what it's like. Compare it to the episode. And I'll probably... People send me suggestions for which one to do, and now so much time has passed, I want to do one that's current that I can really mentally compare. Or maybe I'll do a rewatch and then compare it. That, that could be the way to go. I don't mind doing rewatches. I've done them. I don't know. I think everything's a page from the manga. I really do. Like, there's so many of these shots, you know. Any rate, let's go and get into it. Three, two, one. Oh, I was like, what the hell's happening? They don't have any sound. It just, I hate this website. It should be said, I hate this website. It's got the shittiest interface since Disney+. Plus. It's just very unfriendly. Why would you go back to mute? Why, when would anybody ever watch this on mute? Mute should be hard to do, right? The default should be not mute unless they think people are watching at work or some shit. But in that case, you're going to have headphones. Like, come on, man. Stupid. That is not the way to come into your party, by the way. You done broke this. You broke the floor and you got everybody seeing your panties, man. That ain't good. Yeah. I'm feeling so, Mujo may be the word for marriage. Um, they keep saying Sanji putting Mujo, right? That must be the word for marriage. Oh, wait a minute. Don't tell me they were redoing the f effing. Oh. oh, God. Have I mentioned I hate this effing website? I hate this website. I just... Oh, my God. 